Hello guys, welcome to my second class of Taylor's and McLaren series. <coughs> Before going to take some problems, I to recall what is our Taylor series expansion and Fourier McLaren series expansion. Taylor series expansion is nothing but what actually f of x is equal to f, f of a plus x minus a by 1 factor into f dash of a, x minus a whole square by 2 factor into f double dash of a plus x minus a whole cube by 3 factor into f double dash of a plus etc. Goes on infinite number of terms. This is called, it's nothing but Taylor series expansion. Now f of x is equal to f of 0, x by 1 factor into f dash of 0, x square by 2 factor into f double dash of 0, x cube by 3 factor into f triple dash of 0 plus etc. This is nothing but McLaren series. McLaren series is nothing but is a particular case of Taylor series. Once you put a 0, that is reduced to what? McLaren series. Now keep in, then keep in mind that the question is arise, they have two series. Where I am going to use Taylor's, in which case I am going to use McLaren series. Observably, in the problem, I to expand in powers of x. Expand in powers of x, there I am going to take which uh, series? McLaren series. Other than in powers of x, say x plus 1 in powers of x plus 1 or in powers of x minus pi by 4. In that case, we are going to use which series? Taylor series. If you want to expand in powers of x plus 1, you compare that, you take the value of a. In the full Taylor series x minus a, here they are asking x plus 1. Therefore, x plus 1 can also be written as x minus or minus 1. Therefore, what is my a value? Minus 1. In this case, what is my a value? Pi by 4. Based on that, we get corresponding series. In powers of x means we are going to choose McLaren series. Other than in powers of x means we are going to choose Taylor series. Okay. Uh, in the problem, they are going to exp uh, uh, give expand by using which series may not be also observed carefully. Suppose they are not mentioned as being observed carefully, have to expand carefully. Okay. The first problem we are we are going to give, discuss a few some few problems. First problem expand expand e power of sin x expand what actually e power of sin x using McLaren's series yeah using using McLaren series series up to the term containing x to the power of 4. You yeah, observe carefully in this case, the given they want to expand in powers of x, not for other than in powers of x. Therefore, I have to choose which one? McLaren series. First, you write down what is the McLaren series for the function f of x. Okay, that's the first two step. Writing a series also, you get marked. We know that. So, why I'm using we know that? Because just uh, previous uh, uh, class and also now present class also, we discuss what is my McLaren series. We know that McLaren's series. For, for the function f of x is f of x equals a naught by 2, sorry, not a naught by 2, f of x is equal to f of 0, f of 0, okay, plus x by 1 factor into f dash of 0, plus x square by 2 factor into f double dash of 0. But here I want to expand up to the term containing what actually x to the power of 4. Observe the power of x is multiplied with f dash of 0, power of x square is multiplied with f double dash of 0. 
here they are asking to expand up to the term containing x to the power of 4 means x to the power of 4 is multiplied by which derivative fourth derivative first you take the given function what is given function e power of sin x as f of x you find out f of 0 f dash of 0 f double dash of 0 up to till fourth derivative of 0 okay now first you have to take what is my f of x what is my f of x e power of sin x from that i want to find out what is f of 0 what is f of 0 e power of sin 0 what is sin 0 0 therefore e power of 0 is 1 finally we get f of 0 is what actually 1 next try to find out the value of f dash of 0 you can't find out directly first you find out first derivative what is my f dash of x what is my f dash of x derivative of e power of sin x is e power of sin x into cos x okay now immediately we get what is my f dash of 0 what is f dash of 0 e power of uh, sin 0 you already know that e power of 0 is 1 into cos 0 is 1 we get 1 before moving to the next derivative please observe carefully for this point after once you find out the first derivative if you possible let it simplify and then proceed higher derivative because once we get simple function then easy to find out next higher derivative because here i want to find out up to which derivative fourth derivative therefore this is a way i have to find out without doing any confusion now what i'm going to do here this point everyone must and should have to uh, observe carefully after once you get first derivative is it possible to express in terms of the previous derivative express it why i am insist to express it once you express in terms of the previous derivative then finding her next higher derivatives are very easy therefore now what i'm going to do here before i move to the next derivative f dash of x e power of sin x from the given what is e power of sin x f of x into cos x why i am doing like that because suppose you read an e power of sin x again in, uh, uh, differentiate i go for product rule but what is derivative of e power of sin x e power of sin x into cos x is involving more number of functions then once you have very uh, tedious function it's not easy to find out higher derivative therefore uh, observe carefully after the uh, every derivative is it possible to express in terms of the pre previous derivative express it and then you proceed or if you want to do it directly on directly also is possible but it's very tedious this is a uh, easiest method to find out our higher derivative here they required only fourth derivative in some problem they want up to sixth derivative seventh derivative in such cases after the first derivative before moving to the next derivative First, try to simplify. How to simplify? Try to express in terms of the previous derivative, and then you proceed. Then, then, then it's not a, uh, uh, can't uh, simplify further. Therefore, have to find out the next derivative. What is my next derivative? F double dash of x. What is my f double dash of x? You go for product rule. What is derivative of f of x? Is f dash of x into derivative of x with respect to x is one into second function yeah uh, then, then i have to keep the first function is f dash uh, f of x as it is into what is derivative of cos x what is derivative of cos x is minus sin x is it okay no now once we get first derivative it, uh, it's not uh, possible to express in terms of the previous derivative in the previous derivative you have f of x into cos x but here you have f dash of x into cos x if i can't replace it this by f dash of x Therefore, I am going to leave it as itself. Then I have to find out what is my the corresponding value at 0. Put x is equal to 0, f dash of 0, cos 0, plus f of 0, okay. Uh, uh, and then uh, uh, minus of sin 0. What is sin 0 value? Is 0. Now you know that what is my f dash of 0 is 1 into cos 0. What is cos 0 is also but this term is we get 0. What we get actually minus 1 into 1 is 1. So finally, we get our third, second derivative at x is equal to 0 is 1. Okay. Next, try to find out the next derivative. What is my next derivative? Third derivative. It, what is third derivative now? Each term I go for a product rule. It's fine. But the thing is, it can't express in terms of the previous derivative. Okay. The next uh, 
step is go for a product rule <coughs> what is derivative of f of f dash of x f double dash of x into derivative of x with respect to f1 into second function and then plus into first function into what is derivative of cos x is minus sin x okay fine plus into minus is minus and minus and it's outside i go for product rule what is derivative of uh, whatever that uh, uh, if, uh, f of x is f dash of x into second function plus f of x into what is derivative of the second function is sin x is cos x. Now before moving to the next step, now I am going to simplify here. This can also be written as f double dash of f, f of x cos x plus into minus is minus. Two terms are must be same. Minus two times of f dash of x into sin x and then minus f of x observe carefully now we get minus uh, whatever that uh, f of x into uh, this one yeah i think uh, this one is clear for every one this is nothing but actually minus yeah f of x cos x what is my f of x cos x? If you want to simplify further, observe carefully. Plus into minus is minus. These two terms are same. Add it. Minus f of x into cos x. I told before moving to the next step. As possible, let's simplify you with the help of the previous, previous derivative. Now, f of x cos x is what actually? f dash of x. Why don't you replace it by f dash of x? Because suppose you leave it as itself and go for product rule. But derivative of f, double, f dash of x is what? f double dash of x. Now, I am going to find out what is the corresponding value. f triple dash of 0. What is f triple dash of 0? f double dash of 0. What is my f double dash of 0? Just now we calculated. Okay, if you want to write it, f double dash of 0 into cos 0. Cos 0 is 1 minus 2 times of f dash of 0 into sin 0 is 0 minus f dash of 0. Fine. Okay. Now move to the next. Uh, before move to the next derivative, I have to simplify. What is my f triple dash of zero? What is my f triple dash of zero? F double dash of zero. What is f double dash of zero? Is one. One into one is one minus f dash of zero. Also one. One minus one is zero. Okay. Fine. Observe carefully. Don't confuse. That's why you please keep in mind after you find out the derivative. If it is possible to express in terms of the previous derivative. Here observe carefully. What I have written here minus f of x cos x. Instead of carrying f of x cos x, I am going to replace it by f dash of x. Because easy to find out the next derivative instead of f of x and into cos x. If I move to the next derivative, what is my next derivative? Is fourth derivative of x is nothing but what is the next derivative of f double dash f triple dash of x into second function and then uh, what is derivative of the second function is minus sin x better I to write it here minus or suppose you confuse to write it f double dash of x into derivative of uh, cos x is minus sin x okay fine minus 2 is a constant okay fine what is derivative of f dash it's f double dash of x into second function. Okay, fine. Plus f dash of x into what is a derivative of sin x is cos x. Close the bracket. Minus what is the next derivative of f dash is f double dash of x. Now before move to the next step, if you want to simplify further what I did in the previous step for third derivative, if you have similar term, you group and uh, Simplify it. F, f triple dash of x in f of x into cos x minus a sin f double dash of x into sin x minus 2 times of f double dash of x sin x. We get 3 times of f double dash of x into sin x. Okay. Minus actually what we get actually um, minus 2 times of yeah plus into minus is f dash of x cos x minus f double dash of x. We can't simply prefer the and to find out what's the value of fourth derivative at 0. Yeah, f triple dash of 0 into cos 0 is 1 minus 2 times 3 times of 
yeah f double dash of 0 into sin 0 what is sin 0 is 0 minus 2 into f dash of 0 into cos 0 what is cos 0 1 yeah not necessary to write sin 0 cos 0 because you already know that minus f double dash of 0 no it is simplified further what is f triple dash of 0 0 the entire term must be 0 this is also 0 minus what is f dash of 0 is already known that this is my f dash of 0 it's 1 now we get uh, 2 into 1 minus f double dash of 0 also you already know that that value is 1 therefore we get uh, 1 what we get minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 so the fourth derivative of 0 is nothing but minus 3 i want to expand the given function e power of minus x e power of sin x up to the term containing x to the power of 4. Therefore, I am going to stop to find out the derivative of the function. See, before you find out the derivative value at x is equal to 0, first you observe carefully at x and up to the term containing which power. Based on that, you have to find out the corresponding derivative of the function at x is equal to 0. Now, at substituting these values in uh, 1 or if you want, before move to the next step, what are written the code? Uh, this one, this uh, Maclaurin series result, you take it as one, well, star or one, whatever may be. Then as substituting these values in the star, then what we get actually is okay. Now, in the next step, the star implies, okay, what is my f of x? What is the function they give on? e power of sin x. Must be equal to okay fine. What is my f of zero? What is my f of zero is one. Therefore, one plus x by one factorial into what is the uh, first derivative of uh, f of x is one plus x square by two factorial into what is second derivative of f at zero is one. Third derivative value zero. Therefore, enter the term must be plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factor into 4th derivative is minus 3. If you want to simplify further, because I am going to stop here, therefore they are asking to expand up to the term containing x to the power of 4. Therefore, this is nothing but, try to understand that, this is a thing I have to do it. Now, if you want to simplify further, 1 plus x by 1 factor, what is 1 factor is 1. This is twice of you plus x square by 2 factor. What is 2 factor is 2. And then x plus into uh, minus. What is plus into minus is minus. Okay. Now 4 factorial. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. You already know that this is a 4 factorial. Yeah. Numerator having 3. 3, 3 cancel minus x to the power of 4 by 4 to the 8. This is a way I to expand series of which function e power of sin x yeah this is, a way, this is the easiest way i have to do it okay now before going to move the next uh, problem observe carefully one point if you want to expand any series first observe in powers of what in powers of x means i go for which series mclaren series other than in powers of x means i go for taylor series First, observe carefully and expand the series up to the term containing which power. For example, in this problem, which power? x to the power of 4. Therefore, I go for, uh, and now I to expand the series up to the term containing x to the power of 4 means, first I have to find out uh, what is the uh, fourth to the up to function f of take the given function as f of x. Then after that, you have to find out the derivative of the function up to fourth derivative and also find out all the derivative at which point zero then i have to substitute carefully and then you find out while finding the next point we have to observe these tips first is observe carefully at expand what in power of x or in other than in powers of x in powers of x means i move to McLaren series next up to which power of x i want to expand then based on that i could decide to find out up to which derivative of the given function. Okay, second point. The third point, while finding the derivative of the function, before moving to the next derivative, as possible I to simplify in the present derivative with help of previous derivative. 
Okay, why we have to follow this point? Then easy to find out higher derivative of the given function without ambiguity. Once you follow these points, automatically we get the correct exact series of the given function using Maclaurin series and also Taylor series. Anybody want to take a screenshot for this, you take it because I'm showing entire problem in one screenshot. Okay, fine. Yeah, I move to next problem. Yeah. Next problem, second problem. Yeah, see all the problems what I told you follow the, uh, what I told the tips, then easy to uh, find out the solution of the given problem. Okay, next problem. Uh, in the, you see, I'm, it's not possible I to solve all the problems on the board. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to take different type of problems, some few problems. The rest of the problems, I'm going to share with the e-contents notes, you go through it. I solved every problem, most measure, most of the problem I solved in my notes, you go through that. If you have any doubt, you're free to ask the question. I'm going to share at the end of the, my lecture, what is my email, email ID, okay? Second problem, okay. Yeah. Second problem, using McLaren series, Prove that root of sin 1 plus sin dx equals 1 plus x minus x square by 2 minus x cube by 6 plus x to the power of 4 by 24 minus x factor. Okay. Yeah, they are asking in powers of, even though they are not mentioned McLaren series, after carefully in the right hand side expansion involving in powers of a, x, x, a, x cube, x to the power of 4. Therefore, I am going to expand this function using which series? McLaren series only. Observe carefully the given series is involving up to the term containing what x to the power of 4. Therefore, first try to find out up to which derivative of the given function, fourth derivative. Before going to find out the derivative, first you write down the corresponding which series we are going to use to expand this, which series McLaren series. We know that McLaren series for but the function f of x is f of x is equal to f of 0 plus x by 1 factorial into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus etc. Yeah. What is our given function? Given, what is my f of x? Given function, I am going to take corresponding f of x, 1 plus sin 2x, root of 1 plus sin 2x. Don't find out derivative directly. Why? Because suppose you find out derivative directly, what happened f dash of x, derivative of this root of 1 plus sin 2x, into derivative of sin 2x is 2 sin 2x, derivative of sin 2x is 2 cos 2x, sorry. 2, yeah, I took, not for uh, this, see 1 by 2, sorry. Yeah, I did mistake here. Derivative of root. What is derivative of root? 1 by 2 into root of 1 plus 1, uh, 1 plus sin, uh, sin 2x into derivative of sin 2x with respect to x is 2 cos 2x. Observe carefully. 2, 2 cancel. This is a very tedious. See, observe carefully now. What is derivative of root? Suppose I have to find out the first derivative. 1 by 2 into root of 1 plus sin 2x into derivative of 1 plus sin 2x is 0, 2 into cos 2x. Now, after cancel, we get cos 2x by root of 1 plus sin 2x. Further derivative, I go for which rule? Quotient rule. It's very tedious. Therefore, before moving to the derivative, if possible, I have to simplify. 
Yeah, it's possible because you know that already sin 2x can be written as 2 sin x cos x. So, uh, 1 can be written as the vertex is sin square x plus cos square x or cos square x plus sin square x. Now, once you write these things here, what happens? Sin square x plus cos square x sin 2x from the fundamental trigonometry relation 2 sin x cos x. This is just like a, a square plus b square plus 2ab. a square plus b square plus 2ab is nothing but what actually? Root of a plus b whole square sin x plus cos x whole square. Now finally we get what is my a of x is sin x plus cos x. Observe carefully, instead of finding derivative of root of 1 plus sin 2x, finding the derivative of sin x plus cos x is easy. That's why, see how simple way are to finding the solution of or expansion of the given series is very very important in McLaren series. Simply what they giving a function, directly you have to take, find out the derivative. Once you uh, move the higher derivative, it's not easy, you can't blame the problem or what type of problem they provide how no it's very uh, lengthy problem no not like that especially in the mathematics not only this concept in every concept before moving to the next step if, is, is it possible to simplify simplify next the further higher terms are very easy to proceed this is a way how to do the problem to solve using any concept in especially in the mathematics okay now now I am changing to the given function because they have a tedious part is they have a root that's why okay what is my f dash of 0 is sin 0 what is my sin 0 0 plus cos 0 is 1 oh, sorry this is not f dash of 0 only the given function yeah. yeah we are not still we are not find out any derivative of the function still we are simplified as possible I'd simplify we get simple function now we are going to find out the value what is my f of 0 is 1. Okay. Next try to find out f dash of f. Easy to find out. What is derivative of sin x? Cos x. What is derivative of cos x is minus sin x. See, don't express this in terms of uh, previous uh, function. Not because sin x plus cos x here. Here cos x minus sin x. We can't express it. And also this is very simple function. It's not necessary. Sum of two trigonometry function is very easy to find out. What is f dash of 0? f dash of 0 is, yeah, uh, observe carefully what is my f dash of 0? Cos 0, we already know that. What is cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0. Now finally we get 1. Not necessary to write cos 0, sin 0. Please avoid to write the simple, very, very simple steps. Okay. What is next derivative? f double dash of x. What is derivative of cos x? Is minus sin x. What is derivative of sin x? x? sin x is cos x minus we already have derivative of sin x is cos x. What is f double dash of 0? Sin 0 is 0. Yeah. Minus cos 0 is 1. Finally, we get the value of uh, uh, what about that? Uh, f, double, f double dash of 0 is minus 1. Now, we get very simple way. No? Easiest way to find out. Next, derivative. What is derivative of sin x? cos x. What is derivative of cos x? Minus sin x minus into minus plus. What is third derivative of 0? Cos 0 is uh, uh, what about that um, 1? We get minus 1 but sin 0 is 0. We get minus 1. Okay. What is my fourth derivative of x? What is the derivative of cos minus sin minus into minus plus sin x? Okay. Yeah. And then, observe carefully, yeah, I'll tell you afterwards how to proceed for the step, okay? Now, the easiest way, sin x, what is derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus into minus plus, plus what is derivative of sin x is cos x. This is nothing but our given function, okay? That implies what is my fourth derivative of 0 is f of 0, what is f of 0 is 1, yeah. Otherwise, observe carefully for these steps. Yeah, I am explaining this is the one way for fourth derivative. 
I tell you the other another way from here, from this step. Okay, fine. I'm telling that R either go for this or maybe this. I think it's clear why I'm uh, consider f of x because this is our f of sin x plus cos x is nothing but f of x. Now after the second derivative, before moving to the next step, f double dash of x, I take minus sign outside. What's the remaining? Sin x plus cos x. What is sin x plus plus cos x is our given function minus f of x. Now here itself, if you want to write. What is my second derivative of zero is f minus of minus of f of zero. What is minus of f of zero? Yeah, yeah, just a minute. If you want, suppose you know, confuse. I'm uh, going to write uh, in the next step. Yeah. What is my f double dash of zero is minus of f of zero. What is f of zero? One we get minus one. Yeah, second derivative value is minus one. Same. Next find out next derivative. What is f double dash of x is minus of f dash of x. Okay, that implies what is my f double, f double dash of zero minus of f dash of zero. What is my f dash of zero value? You already know that one we get minus one. Here also we have minus one now. See, observe, I'm showing both the things uh, same. What is fourth derivative is nothing but minus of f double dash of x. Next derivative. What is fourth derivative of zero is minus of f double dash of zero. What is f double dash of zero? Minus one. Minus into minus plus one. Same. Either you do it like that, or after the second derivative itself, we get very simple function. Take minus and outside. Sin x plus cos x is nothing but our f of x. Then we have to replace it by f of x. In that case also we get zero. That's we get the same value what you already get a first derivative, second derivative, third derivative, and fourth derivative. That's why I'm told McLaren series is the view thing is before moving to the next step whether it's possible to simplify using the previous derivative simplify that then easy to find out the derivative of the function. Choice of you either use this. Uh, what are written this or you have to take for this. Don't write both the things. For if your reference, I'm showing both the form. Okay. Next, if now I'm going to take this as star, now I have to substitute these values in star that uh, implies the required result. What is my f of x? Don't write sin x plus cos x 1 plus sin t root of 1 plus sin t. That is the expansion of the expecting in the problem. What is my f of 0 is 1? x by 1 factor into what is my f dash of 0 is 1. x square by 2 factor into what is my f double dash of 0 is minus 1. Plus x cube by 3 factorial into what is my f double dash of 0 is minus 1. Plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into 1. You know that why I am stop to find out for derivative of the function because they are asking to expand up to the term containing what they are expecting through that, they are involving the term up to the term containing it to the power of 4. Therefore, now I have to simplify it because the required result is not in the factorial form. That's why we have to simplify sin 2 x. 1 plus x plus into minus is minus x square by 2 because 2 factor is 2 minus x cube by uh, actually 3 factor 3 into 2 into 1 is we get 6 plus x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial you already know that 24. So expecting next is minus. That's why minus. If you want to find out fourth derivative, fifth sorry, fifth derivative, what we get actually minus of f triple dash of 0. Okay, we are expecting um, plus only, not minus. What is my uh, sorry my uh, this is nothing but uh, what actually f double dash. What is my f double dash minus minus into minus plus? Observable. Now, is it okay? No. Yeah. Uh, second derivative to zero. Actually, we get actually uh, second derivative. This is third derivative. What is third derivative? Uh, value is yeah minus. Observable. 
third derivative value of fifth derivative is nothing but third derivative. What is my third derivative value? Third derivative value minus minus derivative value. Yeah, etc. This is a way try to find out the required result. I think uh, everyone is clear how we get this. Now, before moving to the next step, keep in mind how the easily I have to construct the series from the McLaren series. First, you have to observe carefully which power you want in the expansion. You decided up corresponding to that, try to find out the derivative of the function. First two point is which series I'm going to take, McLaren's or Taylor's. If you want in powers of x, I go for McLaren series. Other than in powers of x means Taylor series. And then carefully find out the derivative of the function. While finding the derivative of the function, observe carefully. Now, before moving to the next derivative, as possible, I have to simplify the present derivative in, with the help of the previous derivative of the given function. Then only we get, uh, once we get simple function, then it's easy to prove it. I think it's clear, everyone. Now I'll move to the next uh, problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, before, see, I'm going to discuss in the next class uh, two, uh, three problems, okay, or two, two more problems. Yeah. The, these two problems uh, is the one problem I'm going to take in the next class for uh, a Taylor series. Another problem I'm going to use, take in what actually McLaren series. So after that, I'm going to derive one the result because that result they give in the uh, Graver textbook. Keep in mind your, te your prescribed textbook is Graver. You please go through your block uh, syllabus. There, they are given very clearly. In each section they mention from the 43rd edition of the Graver textbook. Engineering uh, textbook by Engineering Mathematics by Graver textbook. They mention very clearly in the end of the uh, syllabus Prescribed textbook is what actually Graver textbook. You please refer that book only. And also they mention very clearly in the Higher Engineering Mathematics, Kanna Publisher, 43rd edition, 2015 is published. They mention the section also. You refer the section. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, what I explained two problems are coming back. Few more problems in the next class. Please take care. Please come back. Before comments in third uh, class, please practice what I discussed already first and second class. Bye, see you and take care.